welcome back to the show. It is 7.53. It is minus 5. See? It's minus 5. And we are flying like a bird, but with snowshoes. It's much better that way. Uh, we're joined by Ben and Pete of uh, Bushtuka. That's right. Because right. tight. Did well I done. get that right? <laughs> yeah, Bushtuka. Okay, Bushtuka. That's right. Okay, and this is a store which obviously specializes in snowshoeing. Correct. Among other things, or is this the big thing? No, this is one of the big uh, winter sport categories okay. for us. Snowshoe, cross-country ski, snowboard, uh, all sorts of winter camping stuff as well, but uh, and camping year-round. Right. Okay, now when I think snowshoe, yeah. this is what I, I see. Yeah. We have a few of these actually in our makeup room. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, but this is what I used as a kid, and yep. I'm sure Amy was referring to the same kind of snowshoe. What's yep. going on here? These look like skis and snowboards. Yeah, absolutely. They're, they're aluminum frame snowshoes. Okay. Uh, they're designed to be, um, in contrast to the traditional ones, lighter, uh, a little bit uh, faster as a result. They've got a more aggressive crampon feature on the bottom, so the grip is fantastic. So, so they're not letting you go? No, they're not okay. letting you go, that's right. And they're a lot easier to walk in. The, the gait is more natural. Okay, and it is kind of an easy thing. I think once you find your footing, so to speak, yeah. you're okay with this. Absolutely. You don't need a whole lot of coordination. No, Please that's tell right. me that, Pete. We okay. always say if you can walk, you can snowshoe. Oh, well then, hey, this is the sport to me. <laughs> uh, these are women's. I noticed you have different for women and men. Yep. Why? Correct. This one is a women's specific model because mm -hmm. it's got a slightly lower uh, volume binding, okay. so made for a smaller foot, right. and then they're slightly tapered in the uh, the back of the uh, snowshoe as well mm -hmm. to accommodate a shorter stride. Lovely, delicate and feminine. That's right. Shall correct. I put my big old boots Absolutely. in? Absolutely. You can see I've worn my snowshoe. The big gear. L. This is left okay. right here. Perfect. The big L. <laughs> <laughs> and then just push towards. You the haven't front even of the seen street. me snowshoe. Come on. <laughs> right towards the front. Right towards there the front. We go. Okay. Perfect. And then simple adjustment on the front. Okay. And then one over top. Okay. And. So kind of like skiing, yeah. kind of, in. kind of like snapping in a, a, a seat belt. Okay, let me That's try right. the other one. Oh, okay. Now, Perfect. Ben, you teach this. How many women and how many men kind of are involved in, in snowshoeing in your classes? Um, we don't have any uh, set classes okay, yet. It's just sort of, we have some dates yeah. uh, set aside for... Um, for having some outings and Instruction. that sort of thing. Okay. I'm uh, relatively new to the Ottawa area, and mm -hmm. uh, I found it really uh, discouraging that there is not a lot of places that would uh, show you where to go and that sort Which of thing. It's ironic in a climate like this, wouldn't you think? That's what I figured too, yes. yeah. There's not really much to do in Toronto mm -hmm. other than uh, shop or uh, get <laughs> <laughs> right on is the that where you came from? Or? Um, uh, Oakville, Toronto okay. area, yeah. I hear you. Yeah, so not a lot of snow there right now. I just came from there. No, not really. So we can really right, make use of this. Okay, so it's just like having really big feet. Absolutely, that's, that's correct. That's kind of how it goes. That's right. What are the health benefits of this? The health benefits, especially Ben's going to grab a pair of poles to help uh, give you an upper body oh, workout okay. as well as a lower body workout. It's kind of like cross country. There's one that's right. It's a very right. aerobic activity. So okay. um, very much like cross country. By the time you're done, you're usually uh, uh, quite hot, overheated, it's uh, really yeah, it's definitely very intense. Is depending it? on your I, level. I guess, depending yeah. on how slowly you take it. Now turning Correct. <laughs> turning, I'm gonna do what I do in skiing. <laughs> That's not how to do it. You'll no. show us how. Now, you do have some uh, free classes coming up. Tell me about that and when Absolutely. and where. Absolutely. Ben's taking people out on the uh, the 3rd, the 9th, the 16th, and the 24th. That's right. Yeah. Um, okay. Call the store. We've, we've also got the information on our website, www.bushtucker.com. Okay. Uh, but he's going to be taking people out to various locations around the Ottawa area and uh, sort of giving okay. them the basics of snowshoeing, letting okay. them try some snowshoes out. Now, the lessons are free. Quickly, what's the price range if I want to go out there? What, what's the investment? Absolutely. We do uh, rentals for $10 a day, which mm -hmm. can be applied towards purchase up to three days. So you can and take that thirty dollars rental apply towards purchase. Shoes started about one hundred and forty-five dollars for the yeah. uh, the Atlas models. Go all the way up to uh, uh, sort of three fifty, four hundred dollars, yeah. depending again on your level and how much you're getting into it. Comparable to skiing, and hey, yeah, a lot easier for someone like me. That's Meet right. Ben, thank you very much for Thanks joining us today. Well. Uh, I'm just going to snowshoe on out of here. We will be back with more breakfast at the new RO. In fact, do you think I could make it to the Wild Bird Care Center in these puppies? I'm going to try. <laughs> the Onward and upward. Yes, Queensway. Here I come. <laughs> Like a fish on a hook, like a knife from some old fashioned book. You can snowshoe, and it's as a result, people are getting into it in a, in a big way. Are you seeing a real switch? People who spent years trying to, to enjoy themselves cross country skiing without technique, and people moving over to snowshoe, snowshoeing because it's easier? Absolutely, definitely. It, it uh, not only have people uh, uh, replaced their cross country skiing, especially uh, sort of a 55 uh, plus crowd have, have gone right into snowshoeing because it is so so uh, easy and enjoyable, but also people are complimenting their cross country skiing with snowshoeing. Those days that it's just horrible and, and you don't want to be out on cross country skis, you can't get grip even. 
even though the best grip waxes aren't working, uh, snowshoes and able to go to, to to go wherever you want and uh, and are sort of uh, uh, going to be good in any any type of weather. Well, would love for you to take us through what you sure. brought along, and uh, some of you will remember Beth Mansfield was in between Christmas and New Year's, and she brought along some of your snowshoes mm -hmm. and talked about the rental programs, which we'll tell you about in a, in a short while. We had so many calls and so many questions. We decided you wanted to know more, and that's why we're outside today. You have Wonderful. I have one snowshoe on. Yeah. Do you want me to put the other one on? Well, for me? well that would be great. Okay. And then we can actually do a little bit of a demo. Sure. Why did you choose this shoe for me today? Well, it, a couple of different reasons. It, it uh, is one of our most popular models uh, from Tubbs. It's called the Altitude Series. We are not actually encountering any significant uh, altitude this morning, but um, <laughs> the uh, one main reason, too, is that it's a, it's a women-specific model. The binding is a slightly lower volume to fit um, a smaller women's uh, foot. And also, the, the, uh, the snowshoe itself is slightly tapered in the back to accommodate a, a shorter stride length. So, right. um, women-specific, women snowshoeing in, in general, people or women getting into snowshoeing has increased significantly, uh, as well as a result of, of tubs providing women-specific models. Gee, I feel a little bit like Cinderella. I'm not normally <laughs> so lucky to have someone do it my snowshoes, but right. we were chatting earlier just about how wonderful it is to go out and enjoy snowshoeing at night and hearing the rhythm of the uh, of the shoes on the ground. Absolutely, as you're walking along. Beautiful moon at night. It's a lot of fun. This is very, very easy. And so this is the women's specific model. Take us through some of the other models, and you're not going to get off easily. You have to strap in one, and we're going to go <laughs> do some work. All right, have a perfect. bit of a workout. I'll choose my favorite model, which is the Atlas uh, uh, 10 series. The 1044 is uh, the, uh, one of the largest snowshoes that they produce in, uh, in the aluminum frame shoes. It's a backcountry model. As you go up from the recreational, the very basic snowshoes, to the more advanced, you've got to take two things in, into account. Your weight, how much weight you're going to have on your back, um, and also what type of terrain you're going to be encountering the majority of the time. This shoe is a backcountry model because it's meant to encounter rugged terrain. The binding is substantial. It's going to take a lot of, of uh, strain, and uh, and also the, the frame is a little bit more substantial as well. The crampons are more aggressive. So and it's when you say favorite. crampon, on, yeah. flip this over to show what you mean. That's right. Those are crampons. Exactly. And uh, Atlas has actually added a couple of tank treads in the back this year to, to increase the lateral stability of this particular model. But this is really where these, these models shine. The old-fashioned snowshoes that we're used to seeing, they, they were really, really wide. Yeah. And um, those were, I guess, the ones I was referring to as bear paws. Mm -hmm. They were designed, I guess, to, to hold and carry lots of weight as well. Yeah. How has this shoe started to do what that shoe used to do? Well, the, the traditional uh, shoes obviously still are going to provide you with the, uh, the most surface area and as a result, the most flotation uh, above deeper snow. But in a recreational capacity for most people, if they're on uh, uh, either skidoo trails, pack trails, they're uh, going to appreciate the fact that these are lighter weight. And we always say you're not riding a horse anymore. You're not, uh, your legs aren't... Uh, <laughs> spread out like they used to be it's it's a lot more comfortable it's a much more natural gait uh, so there's a place for the traditional shoes and they they've been around for thousands of years for a reason but these ones certainly uh, for us for the crampons the the binding and uh, the durability are fantastic great well we'll show you some of the other models and we'll take these snowshoes for a little bit of a test drive in just a Wonderful. few minutes thanks peter Welcome back. We're out getting a snowshoe primer today with Peter Lawton of Mushtaka. And just as Peter described, it's truly just like walking. Yeah. Uh, and you normally like to have poles when you're snowshoeing, do you? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. It makes a significant difference in the overall workout that you're getting. You get your upper body involved as well as your lower body. And also in, in particular conditions on particular trails, it's, it's essential to have something to help you uh, get over the hump uh, or down the other side. So to speak. Yeah. Now, we're sinking a little bit more than yeah. I'm used to in my very old-fashioned snowshoes. Yeah. But you said that... It all it all evens out. Absolutely, because of the uh, we feel that the advantages of the aluminum frame shoes uh, far outweigh the uh, the disadvantages. You are losing a little bit of float because they've made them smaller. There's less surface area to keep you above deeper snow. So uh, as I mentioned, traditional shoes still have uh, absolutely have their place, and, and lots of people still use them. The crampons for grip in these shoes, the ease of entry and exit out of the binding, uh, also the durability of them. They're, they've all got a lifetime warranty. All the models that we carry, um, uh, and obviously the the lightweightness and the fact that they aren't interrupting your gait make them a, a, a great choice for anybody who's getting into them. We're just wearing hiking boots. Yeah. And regular hiking boots slide into these. Lightweight hiking boots. Most uh, uh, bindings that uh, are made are of a universal nature. You've got a women's specific, but most of them uh, will accommodate a huge range of boot sizes. The best boot to wear is something waterproof, lightly insulated. It's quite an aerobic activity. You don't want to overdress. Um, and uh, also something that has uh, uh, is not too stiff and not too heavy. 
people don't think of this as as as, as much of a workout as it actually is. It, it can be a great workout. Absolutely. Even more sure. of a workout for Dan, who doesn't have snowshoes on right now. <laughs> Let's talk about cost. What would the cost of the, the pair I'm wearing be? That particular pair, the Altitude uh, 25, comes in around the $325 mark. It's a more slightly more expensive model. Um, the the model that I've gone on is again up in the uh, the 300s. We've chosen the uh, uh, two of the sort of uh, higher end models to try on today. Our snowshoes in store start at about $145 for an adult recreational and go up from there. Well, we'll head on back and we'll show you some of those other ones. And also on the way back, we'll tell you about the, the fact that you can rent these. You don't have to spend that much money at, at any one time. You can Absolutely. rent them and try the different models. Is That's that right, correct? of course. Because it's such a new sport for a lot of people, we want to give people the opportunity to get into them first before they make a decision. And we charge $10 a day uh, for the rental. Up to three days of that uh, charge can be applied towards the purchase. Oh. So we do a rent-to-own uh, program with all of our rental programs. We want people to try them out and then be able to buy them from us um, and be given an advantage in that way. Are there any other highlights? I just wanted to show off these <laughs> because these are so different. These have to be for ice, I'm guessing. They are. They're definitely a, a very solid model. MSR has been making uh, uh, three different models uh, for quite a few years now. Backcountry campers, people that are looking for extremely lightweight, reliable performance in the backcountry, choose the MSR model. Um, it's a great one to be able to strap onto a pack if you're not using it, um, but then also throw it on if you've got deeper snow to encounter. Huh, so that's yeah. for, for the real rugged, uh, rugged right. terrain, and this exactly. would be? This one is uh, called the Pinnacle from uh, uh, Tubbs, and it's an extremely aggressive crampon with a binding that's able to accommodate a snowboard boot or a higher volume uh, winter boot, um, and uh, much easier to, to put on and off. A little bit more bomb-proof, as they say, in the, the gear industry. <laughs> there are so many to, to uh, actually choose from. The best thing to do is probably to, to get out there and just to try things. We're going to tell you about winter camping, and we're going to, to highlight kind of a new version of cross-country skiing, or is this telemark skiing? It's a, a cross between, uh, the best way to describe it is cross between a snowshoe and a telemark uh, ski. It's a shorter telemark ski. It's got great flotation and uh, deeper snow, and is uh, versatile for all sorts of terrain. Oh, Ben, you're doing a great job as Ben, a <laughs> There, but we're actually going to make you show them off in a little while and we're getting poor Ben motivated. It seems to be more and more difficult to get children motivated to become physically active. We're having an obesity epidemic. Most children spend about 20 to 30 hours watching TV or um, playing video games. So CJOH's Natalie Vandenbosch has a story on changing those habits. Winter is here, and we're here to tell you how you can enjoy it today. We're with Peter Lock and of Bush Talk Up. Ben just did a great demo on the, uh, what kind of skis are they? I, they still have me puzzled. They're called the Carhu Meta, and they're sort of a, a best way to describe them, a cross between a snowshoe uh, with a snowshoe binding and a short length telemark ski. So really versatile, a lot of fun, and we have those for, uh, for rental as well. Could we have you show us the bottom of the skis, Ben, because Absolutely. they're pretty swanky, aren't they? Yep. There's, uh, there's a little bit of a skin, is what they call it, underneath. That gives you your grip, basically, when you're going uphill or if you choose to do, like, a cross-country sort of thing. So this underneath. changes traditional waxing. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, it's sort of a cross between a cross-country ski and a, uh, and a snowshoe. If you're interested in looking into skis or how that is evolving, or the snowshoeing and how it's evolving, you have outings. Uh, that we're, we're yeah, we're all over the place for the next uh, uh, next couple of months at uh, ski hills uh, doing demos. We also got Ben is going to do four uh, outings uh, in February on Saturdays and Sundays, and uh, you can get more information on those on our website uh, www.bushtucker.com. And uh, also we we deal with a gentleman named Wendell Hughes from Fitness, Rick Heller from Zone Three Sports, and they're doing outings as well. Now, what's an outing like, Ben? Since you're doing Doing the outings tell us tell us what people can expect um basically what we're going to do is it's just sort of a meet and greet at the store and then we'll carpool to the various places uh, where we're going to be uh, going on the trails that sort of thing we'll have somebody uh in the middle of the trail that will have uh, food prepared and that sort of thing as well <laughs> that's so appealing to a lot of people <laughs> I figured that people would get hungry halfway through, so uh, so we're going to do that, and uh, I'll basically bring along a, a bunch of different pairs of snowshoes as well uh, that people can try out and have fun in the snow. Basically. And what's the cost of an outing like that? Uh, for the outing is, is free. It's just basically you have to bring along your own snowshoes, or we'll have rentals available as well, and they'll be at a, a little better price. 
Yes. Okay. Now, we have a tent here. Yes. Now, people would wonder why we didn't say anything about the tent. The tent's here set up in the snow, Peter. Uh, is this particularly for winter camping? It is, absolutely. Actually, this one is a, 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 in a category that's increasingly more popular. They're called a convertible tent. It gives the ability to use the tent in uh, uh, summertime and wintertime, and uh, because of the fly, uh, an extra pole set that comes with the, uh, the tent. This is the winter fly. And it's a, it's a, because it's a winter camping tent, it's a lot more stable uh, than a regular three season uh, uh, summer camping tent. It's able to take snow loading, they call it, so snow uh, on top. Also, higher winds, the stability is increased, and you're able to completely close it up to keep yourself insulated as well. But I'm really not seeing the chimney for the wood stove. <laughs> no, <laughs> at all. no, that'll be in the vestibule. That's right. <laughs> and you acclimatize. We have to show, okay, now Ben is really ripping in those skis. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, Ben and I were. lot of fun. Really took us by surprise. We uh, weren't sure what they were all about and uh, like I said had a lot of fun. So essentially Ben's a kid with a new toy right now. That's right, exactly. <laughs> okay. yeah. We want to thank you guys very much for explaining and hopefully we've answered some of your questions. I think the best thing to do is to try before you buy and uh, right now I will take the snowshoes off because I have to gallop back to the station and uh, finish up the show.